Hey everybody, Lee from PC Junkie Mods here. So today we're going to take a look at the new Fantex Intho Evolve ITX chassis. So this is the newest chassis from the Evolve series. Um, they've gotten so much good feedback from the first Evolve case that uh, from my understanding there's going to be the ITX and then there's going to be actually a full ATX. Um, you can look around on the web and I think uh, Hardware Canucks or somebody did some kind of first look at CES so you can get a kind of a, a, a glimpse there. Uh, what I did is I did a reverse, we're gonna do a reverse action video here. Um, we've already tore it apart, so that way we, we'll show you how to put it back together. Uh, the reason I did that is you can we just get down to the nitty gritty and I'll show you what's inside and, and, and what features it has and stuff like that. Uh, for the most part, it's the same quality as most of the Fantex chassis. Um, it doesn't have a lot of aluminum like the first Evolve. It has some, uh, it has plastic around the front here, and I think a lot of this is more steel instead of like the big aluminum doors on the Evolve. This one actually has steel doors, and um, it doesn't have the hinge door like the first Evolve. Um, I do like the hinges, but these doors go on really easy and uh, very nice. So let's go ahead and start on the inside. <clears throat> As you can see here, there's a where they got the Fantex emblem here. This little little door flips open right here. This is so you can put a bigger GPU in, which is a very creative idea. Um, yeah, it doesn't look very sturdy, but then again, who's gonna leave it open when your hardware's in there, right? Um, this also serves as a hard drive storage area. You can put a two and a half inch drive or a three and a half inch drive. So a couple of the optional upgrades for this, this case will be the three and a half inch um, drive bay adapter, which looks like this. So you just basically take that, you'd have to move these two screws that are the closest toward the camera back to the two holes here. And then this does the drop and hook uh, or drop and lock, whatever you want to call it. Um, and another option is the pump bracket. I think this will be another option for the case. I don't think it comes with the case because one of the biggest uh, things for this chassis is I think, don't know the exact MSRP, but I'll try to get that and I'll put it in the comments below. Um, I, I want to say that it's going to be above 50 bucks, but below 100. So um, that's a pretty good price range for um, a good looking ITX like this. So another cool feature on the inside of the chassis is the removable radiator bracket slash fan bracket. Um, supports up, a, up to a 280 millimeter radiator, um, or you could just put fans in it or whatever. Let me show you how it slides in here. Um, it's secured with four screws which is a very brilliant idea. You slide it in, screw here, screw here, two on the back. Um, I mean, that doesn't get any easier for water cooling or just to put your fans in. And another cool feature about most of the, the chassis that they have, and especially since they're carrying on with it, is the, the tracks for the fans. So you're able to actually move position your, your fans are not stuck in one location. Um, as far as the inside goes, as you can see, it's nice and clean. It's got the grommets, uh, their normal, nice heavy duty grommets they have here. And then also for airflow, you got a 200 millimeter fan that comes pre-installed with the case. And on the back, it looks like you have a, a couple options. As far as that goes, you could put a 120 or a uh, 140 on the back because it has the, re the, the fan tracks also to be able to move the fan around. Um, like I said, this is an ITX, so it's a lot smaller. Uh, but it looks like it has plenty of room for a full water cool system, which is nice. I know that you could actually pull out the hard drive cage, which is down here. You see it supports uh, up to two hard drives, either three and a half or, or two and a half. Totally up to you. Let's go ahead and start putting it back together for you here. There's one. Got the other one hidden over here. And, well, I can't see what I'm doing. So. Bear with me. There's two. So if you pull out the hard drive cage and you removed this part here, you could actually put another radiator in the front because I do I do see the little track system here for the fans and it does look like it supports another 240 millimeter radiator in the front. Um, so that is a pretty nice feature to be able to put two radiators in this such a small case. Um, and then there's some of the cool features that they've stuck with throughout all their chassis is their non-plastic uh, straps here for wire management. They have another drop and lock uh, SSD bracket here 
to add more storage. Um, and then they got all their nice black cables. Uh, you know, I've seen some newer cases that's, that are coming out. I'm talking like recently that, that, you know, one of these or two of these wires or maybe even all the ones that plug into the motherboard, they're not black. It's like most people want black stuff, you know? And look, another cool feature, no AC97 coming off of the AC audio here. Definitely love that because uh, most people are using the AC audio plug now. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same streamlined case as the their uh, first Evolve case. So let me go ahead and put some stuff on it real quick. <clears throat> as you can see on the front, we have the removable fan grill, just like the first Evolve. And it just pops in there pretty easy, came out pretty easy. As you can see, comes, just wanted to show that, because obviously you didn't see me take it out. They've stuck with the nice clean look from the original Evolve. Uh, I just want to show you how to put it on. Just uh, basically has the push-ins, uh, just like the old one, or not old, but their last version. So it's got the little ball here, and pretty sturdy front piece. So uh, another cool feature is, um, or another cool thing that I think they took from the user's input is the, uh, <clears throat> they've moved the USB 3.0, the audio ports and the reset switch here to the front instead of on the back door. And then the power button is located on the top of the chassis now. And this is the same button that you would find on like your Lux or I think the Pro also has it. So I wanted to show that. Some of the stuff that actually comes with the case is trying to keep the uh, price point down. They've actually went to the non-book style. It's just a fold-up type manual, piece of paper. Um, so this should cut down on cost some. It also comes with a screw pack and some, uh, some zip ties. That's pretty much what came in the accessory box we got. And then another nice feature they went with a, a nice big window on this. Um, I know the first, the, Evo the first Evolve, the Micro ATX Evolve, has uh, about a, uh, well, I don't know, the door's probably bigger than this, so I think, I wanna say the window stops about there, so there's about this much room. Um, I actually took two of them. I had a customer send me one, and the one I had, and I cut the window out bigger. But, uh, but this time they went uh, full, pretty much a full window for this chassis. There, so now you just put some thumb screws in it and lock the doors on. As you can see also down below there's like plenty of room for wire management. I mean there's not a lot of wire management here directly behind, but there's still plenty of room to run your A-pin up um, or whatever, whatever other wires you would need to run right here. But you could do most of your wire management down below because um, your power supply is going to be over about an inch from the back so you'll have room next to the power supply and um, and most cables that are going to be in an ITX aren't going to be very long anyway um, so there, there's and this plus this dips in so you got more room here um, so you know there's a lot of cool features for an ITX and then also on the bottom there is a fan filter uh, for the power supply so it's just slide in slide out and it supports a full-size power supply. So that about wraps it up for a quick look at the uh, Evolve ITX chassis from Fantex. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Until next time.